I'm joined today with Matt Brickman of iMediate Inc. Um, he is a family law mediator, aside from being um, licensed to actually mediate just about every type of case that exists out there. But uh, today we're talking about family law mediations. Now, Matt, you said that th you, you gave me two website addresses just a moment ago. You gave me one that's imediateinc.com. And then you also said something about iChatMediateInc. Oh, no, I'm sorry. What, what, iChatMediation. iChatMediation. Dot com. Dot com. Okay. Now, two companies, both are owned by you, right. but they do different things. That Correct. was pretty interesting. So what's the difference? What do they do? All right. So so iMediate Inc. is the main company, and iChat Mediation is under the main company, and that is the virtual platform and the virtual mediation that I have. So um, like I told you, many years ago, I worked for the, for the uh, courthouse, and um, after working for them for uh, a while, I went into work one day, and they're like, um, we're, we, we went through our budget. We got to lay off all of our contract mediators and so I'm driving home going okay now what and so I had this idea well why not just go virtual start doing some virtual mediation so I started looking around and this was about seven eight years ago so really before we had you know video conferencing and I mean we had we had iChat you know which was through Apple and we had Skype which was through Microsoft and that's about it really didn't have conferencing platforms um, and so so I had an idea of you know getting a virtual platform. So I contacted a number of companies just trying to find one, and I found some young, really young guy working at Cisco WebEx that, um, that you know, I said, hey, do you have this type of platform I'm looking to build or whatnot? And he's like, we don't have anything like that, but tell me what you do. Let me see if we can figure it out. So had a number of conversations with him, and, they, and so Cisco built me a virtual mediation platform. Um, so all parties to a mediation could actually attend virtually. Virtual. So if mom and dad are in Florida, I'm sorry, if, if dad and his attorney are in Florida and mom is in Europe. Yes. You can still mediate the case. Yes. I mean, and, and I've done I've done mediations around the state of Florida, virtual. I've even done them in the same city where the attorneys did not want to be in the same geographic location. So the attorneys stayed in their own offices and the and the parties went to their office and I stayed home. And we were able to get mediation done. Um, I've done it where, where just like you said, I mean, um, I, had, I had a mediation last year in Sweden um, where, where one party was here, the other party was in Sweden. I've had one where th uh, the mother was on assignment in Singapore. I've done military divorces where, you know, you know, they're on an Air Force base over in the Middle East and not able to get back here. I've done them where, you know, husband's on a battleship down in uh, the Gulf of Mexico. And I've done them where they're in, you know, New York City. I've done them, you know, all over the U.S. And it's it's a great way to still be able to conduct without uh, conduct mediation without having to take on an additional cost. You had talked about the cost of trial. There is a cost for mediation, but sometimes trying to get a party here that may have already relocated, or maybe it's a modification um, of something, and there would be an expense to have to fly down, get a hotel ghetto rental right. car. Um, this saves that cost. And it also allows attorneys that might, you know, have cases sort of just, they just keep sort of brushing off because they're just trying to delay, kick the can down there. They don't know really like, how do we get this one done? Right. All of a sudden there's a platform for them to say, oh, we don't even have to, yeah, let's just schedule this. They don't even have to be here. And so in that platform, um, it really, it's, it's, it's a lot on my end because not only am I mediating, and as you well know, when I mediate, I'm also drafting. Mm -hmm. So I'm facilitating the conversation. I am drafting the agreement as we talk, which also saves time and a lot of money. And I'm also running this entire platform in the background. So everybody can appear on the, you know, using a laptop, a cell phone, a tablet, you know, a, a computer, whatever device. And I'm also able to treat it just like a mediation room, just like you had said, you know, sometimes in mediation, you may be in your office with a client and in the conference room is the other attorney and their client. But sometimes we're all in the same room together. Right. Well, on this virtual platform that they built using the iChat mediation platform is um, we, we all start off together. And as each person talks, their camera goes live so you can see them. This is also very good because only the people that are allowed to be in mediation should be there. Well, so this way we know if somebody else is in the room listening, if somebody else. So, you know, you, you know, adds right. a lot more than just a telephonic, you know, call for mediation. Brings a level um, of honesty to the table, which is which is nice. 
And for me, I also get to read facial expressions and body language. Facial expressions are a lot of what goes into this uh, that is lost on a telephone if you're doing telephonic mediation. And so everybody starts off together. But then let's say that you and your client say, hey, Matthew, we want to talk to you privately. And in, a, in your office, you and I could then step out and go into a different room. Well, how do you do that virtually? Well, Cisco built me a platform where I can create virtual rooms. So I go in and I'm, and, and like I said, while I'm mediating, I'm conducting all this. So I go and I create a separate room and I take you and your client and myself in a separate room and leave them in the main conference area. Right. And we go into a private room and we have a private conversation. We can talk and I can bounce back and forth just like we would in the real world, but all in a virtual system. See, that's phenomenal because, you know, we're talking about cost just going back a little bit. And, and I'm going to tell you why this is actually such an important platform and, a, and an important service. But going back to cost, you know, I, I take cases in Tampa. I'll take cases in Jacksonville. I'll even take cases, you know, Miami or in the Keys. And when you think about that, you know, attorneys try pay, they, they charge for travel time. And to get me to Tampa, it's three hours to get me there right. of travel time plus our time in court and then three hours home. You know, Jacksonville is about five hours, five hours to get me there, five hours home. You're paying for 10 hours, even if it's a five minute hearing. It's yeah. crazy. You know, so if, if you have a case in Tampa or maybe you live in West Palm Beach and you want to hire a local attorney. And you remember on last two weeks ago, I spoke about the importance of hiring local attorneys for local rules and having open communications with them. You know, you want me as your local attorney in West Palm Beach or Palm Beach Gardens. But you have a case that's in Tampa from 10 years ago that you now need modified. We could actually use as Matt's platform and you're not paying me to drive back and forth to Tampa. You're not driving back and forth to Tampa. Meanwhile, we're still mediating your case. The second thing is that, you know, for the biggest time, it, you know, you'd hear in court, well, I need a continuance or I can't try this case or I can't set mediation for six months because, you know, my the other party in the case is in the military and I don't know where they are and I don't know when they're coming back or they live in Europe or they live in another country or they're someplace else. Well, in this situation, there's no excuse. We can mediate almost immediately. We can keep this case rolling and moving forward with this platform. They're very unique. They're cutting edge. It's one of the reasons why I like to use Matt. Um, he's a great mediator, and his his technology is phenomenal. And if you're interested in hiring Matt to maybe talk to about setting up a mediation or you want to hear a little bit more about his qualifications or ask him a question with something that you're hearing on today's show, how would people get a hold of you? Uh, the best way to get a hold of me is email. Email? Okay, what's yeah, your email? E email, and, uh, email and text message. Um, those are the two fastest. So my email is mbrickman at ichatmediation.com. And uh, or you can text me on my cell phone, five, six, one, two, six, two, nine, one, two, one. Great. 